systems thinking is a process that involves understanding that problems can be solved or ideas generated by considering something as a system. A system is an organized group of related objects or components that form a whole. A system can include objects, people, places, or events. There are all sorts of systems that you may be already familiar with, such as food chain systems, water cycles, and waste management systems. Let's consider a simple system. A banana, a laptop, a makey-makey keyboard, and some cables, as well as a person, are just individual objects. This is not a system. But when these individual objects are combined and connected, they form a system. Each component in the system is linked in some way and influences other components. Without one part, the system does not work. For example, if we're missing a cable, then the system is not complete. My interaction with the system also influences the output. Systems thinking is about looking at the system as a whole rather than separate parts. It's about seeing the bigger picture. It's about understanding that problems cannot be simply solved through a linear process and that there are a number of variables to consider when solving problems or creating solutions. With systems thinking, one considers all of the interrelated components within a system and their relationships and interactions. By looking at patterns and trends in a system, systems thinking can help you understand the relationships and what they're doing within the wider world. This thinking skill can help you understand a situation or context to find even better solutions. Systems vary in complexity. They might be quite simple or be very complex. Consider what a system might look like for the, the design of a mobile app for an art gallery, the design of a sustainable school garden, a virtual reality game. As systems thinking is a problem solving process, Part of the process is to also identify a problem to solve, and problems don't always have a clear answer. That's part of the challenge. There are a number of different strategies for using a systems thinking approach to problem solving that could be helpful. Mind maps or cluster graphs are a couple of examples that help identify a number of factors or components in a system. For example, this strategy could help with exploring human impact issues on a local park or to identify opportunities around tackling school safety. Changes over time graphs track a quantity of some form over time. It might be used to track emotions over a week or to explore if technology has gotten cheaper or more expensive over time. Feedback loops are used to explore output from one component and its influence on another component. This could be used to explore a question like, how does technology use impact my health? Causal maps are like concept or mind maps, but where you also identify the causal links between trends or components in a system. An example might be to explore a question like, what factors influence the price of vegetables in Australia? The strategies you will use depend on the problem you're trying to understand or solve. Systems thinking is an excellent way to consider the broader picture of the problems or ideas we want to explore and can be combined with other thinking skills such as design thinking and computational thinking for powerful problem solving.